Hello and welcome to another TQT video. Today I'll be showing you how to use Photoshop and the basics of it. When most people use Photoshop, I think they don't use it to its full potential. So in this video, I'll also be showing you how to make a cool logo like I did. Okay, so open Photoshop. And then once you have this open, you have two options. Once you go to File, you can either create a new document or open one. So for creating a new one, I usually make it 1920 by 1080. So 1080p. And let's just go OK. Once we have this open, we want to import whether it be pictures or text. So go file, open, I'm going to import a picture. So I found the file that I want. And now that it's opened, it opens as a separate, separate document. So you can either go Control C and then go over there and go Control V, or it's easier just to hold down the Control button and drag it across to here and then drop it there. And now to resize this, we can go Control T. And we can resize it down. If you want this to stay the same dimensions, you can hold down the Shift button. So I've resized this to fit the picture. And so now if I were to type my logo, I'll put it in probably 150 PT. Here I've recreated my logo, but I want to blur out the background because that means that the audience will draw more attention to the text. So if we go to the background layer, which would be layer 2, and we click on that, we can create a new layer. Then from here, we can completely fill it in white. There are other ways to do this, but this is just a way that I'm going to do it. So I filled that in white, and now I want to make the opacity maybe 20%, but it's still not blurred out. So what you can do now is go to the picture layer and go filter blur and you have all your blur options here but it's easier to go to the blur gallery where you can pick between fill blur it takes a long time to load but now the background is blurred out so your attention is drawn more to the text but the text is still very flat so to add three-dimensional effects and textures, double-click on the layer that it's on. You can pick between a lot, but I'm just going to go with Bevel and Emboss. Then with texture, you can pick between more here, and if you want to get new textures, just click on the little gear there. And down here is all the surfaces. So I like 
colored paper. Good, okay. These tend to be more softer surfaces. If you go stroke, you can add a stroke to it. So I think I'll go with that. That looks better now, but I want to add my images to it. So go open again, then here are the icons. Once I have these, you can do the same thing that you did with the first picture. Just drag and drop here and resize it. Once you have this, Photoshop will automatically snap it to a similar location. I've made my logo, but now I want to make them less transparent so that you're more drawn to the text. So, I'm going to put this at 65%. Okay, I'm finished now, so I want to save it. So go File, Save As. If you save it as a PSD, you'll be able to work with the same layers as you did before. Whereas if you save it as a JPEG or a PNG, all of the layers will be combined into one, meaning that you won't be able to edit the text or move it around. So I'll save it as a PSD, because I still want to edit it in the future. Make sure you check out the playlist that I made for similar tutorials about Photoshop. Make sure you follow my friends' channels. The links for their channels are in the description. Stimzy uploads Try Not To Laughs and more quality content. Thanks for watching. If you make any suggestions in the comment section, I'll be happy to make a YouTube video about it. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like that, you can subscribe.